Monster Jam fans, welcome out here in Little Rock, Arkansas for the next stop out here on Arena Championship Series Central. But before we can begin and more Monster Jam action as things are getting back to normal out here for at least just with this week, with you know, I'm trying to take some time off from going to the IRL events and I'm just going to stay home and chill and focus more on the diecast shows. But before we can resume this season and start this show, we want to thank all of those who have served our country. Monster Jam is built right here in the USA. We are super grateful and thankful to live in the greatest nation on earth and celebrate its strength, freedom, and resilience. If you've served in the United States military, whether it be the Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, or Coast Guard, please rise and thank you for your service. God bless the United States of America. This evening's national anthem is going to be presented by Avengers Racing and the Steel Titans Sports League. So everybody, please rise and remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem, as well as please check out these channels, they're really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats and squid hats as we now present our nation's colors. Coming out to the track first, representing the black and green wrecking machine out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, your 2023 Arena Series East Champion and your 2024 current Arena Series Central Points Leader, this is Weston Anderson in Grave Digger.
Little Rock, Arkansas. I need you guys to get loud and say it with me because this is Monster Jam. <laughs> Finals. Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your winner is going to be Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up out of Conford, North Carolina, this is Jamie Sullivan in Monster Mud Dalmatian. We're in the other lane in his rookie season. This is Alex Barden in Stone Crusher. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alex Barton getting stuck in the wall will cost him a lot for Jamie Sullivan to advance to the semis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up, uh, representing everybody's favorite mystery crime solving dog, this is Brandon Mahan in Scooby Doo. Versus in the other lane out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. And this is Michaela Tolechka in Megalodon. Who will get the win and advance on to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your winner is going to be Michaela Tolechka in Megalodon. Mm -hmm. Next up, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Fernando Martinez. And El Toro Loco. Versus in the other lane representing for the Zombie Nation. This is Frank Krimmel in Zombie. This is the final race of round one. Who will go to the semifinals? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark. Get set. Go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Frank Krimmel getting stuck in the wall will cost him on for Fernando Martinez to go to the semis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Time to kick 
off the semifinals with Weston Anderson and Gravedigger versus Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mud Dalmatian. Who will go to the final round? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Jamie and a lot of drivers keep being caught up in these walls, just costing them the race. The same will happen out here to Jamie Sullivan, allowing for Weston Anderson and Gravedigger to go to the final round. And then who will go to the final round to face off against Weston Anderson in Gravedigger? Will it be Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco? Or will it be Michaela Telechka in Megalodon? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Nice fast pass from Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco will allow him to move on to the finals. That may have been the fastest time out here the night so far. That was really fast out there for Fernando Martinez. Monster Jam fans, we made it to the final round out here in this evening's JCB Racing Competition. We started off the evening with any of the fastest Monster Jam competitors, and we're now down to the fastest two. Little Rock, are you ready to meet our final round contenders? Coming out first, representing the black and green wrecking machine out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, this is Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. Versus the other laners and the crazy bull, this is Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco. Who will get the winning at the first eight points here of the evening? Let's find out. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your winner is going to be none other than Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great job out of Weston Anderson in Grave Digger for this win. You know, Weston has been strong all season out here in racing. And he picks up another win. I believe he's won every racing competition except for two, which is very impressive and very nice out here for Weston Anderson. As he's been so dominant this season, it's just the way he wanted to kick off the, the, kick off the evening out here with these eight points. As you know, he is not done yet. He is ready to come out here and sweep this whole event. So Little Rock, you better be ready as Weston Anderson is coming for that win. Once again, congratulations to Weston Anderson for picking up the first eight points here of the evening. <laughs> Monster Jam fans, it is now time for your for our second competition here of the evening. The Great Clip Skills Challenge. Each driver is going to get two attempts to pull off their best maneuvers on two wheels. Two wheel, two wheel maneuvers, you may see these drivers and do out here on this track are stoppies, moonwalks, sky wheelies, slap wheelies, poppers, bicycles, or maybe even a combination of these moves. So, Little Rock, get loud if you're ready for the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out first out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, this is Brandon Telechka in Just Get Her Done 2. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Zappy Moonwalk combo walking it up the pond. Standing it on the nose. He's standing in here on the nose. Nicer, and he's gonna get a save. One more attempt left to go. Nicer copper. Nicer one wheel save, and that's going to be the end of the run. However, Brandon Telechka and just get her done too. Your score for Brandon Telechka and just get her done too is going to be a 32, and that is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the Great Clip Skills Challenge. Coming out next in his rookie season, this is Alex Barnett in Stone Crusher. Nice hair offer. Nice if Opry sets it down, one more attempt left to go. Nice to reverse, reverse wheelie. Nice here, comboing it up here into a stoppy. Wow. And he's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run out for Alex Barton and Stone Crusher. <laughs> Your score for Alex Barton and Stone Crusher is gonna be a 28. Hitting up for second place, your leader is still gonna remain Brandon Telechka and just get her done too. Coming out next, I'm saying everybody's favorite mystery crime solving dog. This is Brandon Mahan in Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> nice air, big sky really out here from Brandon Mahan. <laughs> One more attempt left to go. <laughs> nice to reverse Willie, slap wheeling it across the pad and comboing it here into a stoppy. <laughs> and she's gonna set it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run after Brandon Mahan and Scooby Doo. <laughs> Your score for Brandon Mahon and Scooby-Doo is going to be a 28. Good enough for third place. Your leader is going to remain Brandon Telechka and just get her done too. Coming out next, we're playing for the Zombie Nation. This is Frank Trimble in Zombie. <laughs> Everybody get the zombie arms going. <laughs> Nice to skyly kick things off out here for Frank Kermel and Zombie. Nice to reverse popper. And he's gonna send it down, and that's gonna be the end of the run out of Frank Kermel and Zombie. Your score for Frank Criminal and Zombie is going to be a 24. Getting up for fourth place, your leader is still going to remain Brandon Telechka and just get her done too.
Coming out next, out of Oxford, North Carolina, this is Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. <laughs> Nicer copper. Nice here. Here, offer one more attempt left to go. Nice stoppy moonwalk combo across the pod, and that's going to be the end of the run. Average Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Two great at hits. Mm -hmm. Your score for Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian is going to be a 32. Good enough for second place. Your leader is still going to remain Brandon Selechka and just get her done too. Coming out next is going to be Brandon Telechka's younger sister out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. This is Michaela Telechka in Megalodon. <laughs> Michaela's swimming this shark around the track, hunting for its hit. <laughs> nice is there, Popper. One more attempt left to go. <laughs> Nice little proper into a save, and that's going to be the end of the run out for Michaela Telechka and Megalodon. <laughs> Your score for Michaela Telechka and Megalodon is going to be a 24, getting up for sixth place. Your leader is still going to be Michaela Telechka's older brother, Brandon Telechka, and just get her done too. Coming out next, our playing the crazy bull. This is Fernando Martinez in El Toroloco. Mm -hmm. Pulling that smoke out of the nostrils, getting you guys hyped up for a skills challenge run. Mm -hmm. Blowing that smoke out of the nostrils, he just rests the rest this thing on the wheelie bar. Nice reverse popper out here for Fernando Martinez. And he's gonna set it down. One more attempt left to go. Pulling that smoke out of the nostrils, he's just having a nice popper up here. He is really balancing this truck on its front two BK to tires, just wow. And he's going to set the truck down, and that's going to be the end of the run out here for Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm.
Your score for Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco is going to be a 28. Good enough for fifth place. Your leader is still going to belong to Brandon Telechka in Just Get Her Done too. Coming out last Thursday in the black and green wrecking machine out of Hill Devil Hills, North Carolina. This is Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. Nice here from Tombstone off the eight act. Well, I think I just heard an egg crack in there. Uh, I didn't know what that was, but. That scared me, but it looks like it did not scare Weston Anderson. And despite the scary noises going on in the background, he is unfazed and undistracted. That is really showing skill. Wow, look at him still moonwalking this truck like it's nothing. Wow, nice your job for Weston Anderson. As he sets it down, one more attempt left to go. Mm 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 and he sets it down into a moonwalk. Wow, Weston Anderson. Wow, the combinations for Weston Anderson. And he's just gonna set it down. Wow, what a run out here for Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. <laughs> Your score for Weston Anderson in Grave Digger is going to be a 40, which means your Great Clip Skills Challenge winner is going to be none other than Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. I mean, Weston Anderson, the combinations he just had were insane. And then, you know, his first attempt was really impressive for the fact that an egg or something in the kitchen happened. There was some loud noise in the kitchen. And he was able to just keep moonwalking it, not even scared or unfazed by it at all. He did not lose any distraction. He's kept that truck walking as firmly as it can be. Just, wow, that was amazing. Great job out here for Weston Anderson in Gravedigger. Keeping the focus and the balance on that truck despite some of the noises in the background. Most drivers would have set that one down. I don't know if they heard that, but not Weston. He just kept walking it out. Great job for Weston Anderson on picking up the next eight points towards, to, towards this evening's overall event championship. Alrighty, Monster Jam fans, it is now halftime. So, everybody, please go be sure you don't stretch. Go ahead and get your food, your water, your snacks. And come back in half an hour for the second half of our Monster Jam competition. Tonight with the Donut Competition and BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Monster Jam fans, it is now time for our third competition here of the night. The Monster Jam Donut Competition. Each driver is going to get one attempt to do their best donut. Stuff the judges are looking for when judging these donuts are the amount of rotations, the momentum, and how long they can donut for. So, Little Rock, get loud if you're ready for the Monster Jam Donut Competition. Coming out first, 
Out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, this is Michaela Talachka, a Megalodon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what an unfortunate break as she rolls over. Michaela's had good luck in the donut competition this year. It looks like she was more be able to have a good donut out here today. One unfortunate break for Michaela Talachka as they got her truck rolled over and they're gonna tow it back to the pits. Your score for Michaela Talachka and Megalodon is gonna be a 20. And that is going to be your leader to kick things off out here in the Monster Jam donut competition. Coming out next up in the Zombie Nation, this is Frank Trimble in Zombie. <laughs> Nicer donut for Frank Grimmel as he nails it. <laughs> Your score for Frank Grimmel and Zombie is going to be a 28. Good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Frank Grimmel in Zombie. Coming up next, representing everybody's favorite mystery crime solving dog, this is Brianna Mahan in Scooby Doo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nicer donut for Brianna as she nails it. Your score for Brianna Mahan in Scooby Doo is going to be a 28. Good enough for second place. Your leader is still going to remain Frank Grimmel in Zombie. Coming out next in his rookie season, this is Alex Barden in Stone Crusher. Mm -hmm. Nicer donut for Alex Barden as he nails it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your score for Alex Barden and Stone Crusher is going to be a 32. And that is going to be good enough for the lead. Your brand new leader is going to be Alex Barden and Stone Crusher. Coming out next out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, and this is Brandon Telechka and just get her done too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh man, he just goes for donut and it's absolutely slaps it into the pod and that's going to be the end of the run as he rolls over. Not the way, um, not the way thing, not, not how Brandon Swashka wanted his donut to go. And then I flipped back over. Your score for Brandon Selechka and Just Get Her Done too is going to be a 16. Good enough for 5th place. Your leader is going to remain Alex Barton and Stone Crusher. Coming out next, we're playing the Crazy Bull. This is Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice there, donut for Fernando as he nails it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your score for Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco is going to be a 32. And that is going to be good enough for second place. Your leader is going to remain Alex Barton and Stone Crusher. Coming up next out of Comfort, North Carolina, this is Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mud Dalmatian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice there for Jamie. Nice donut for her as she's going to nail it. Your score for Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian is going to be a 32. Good enough for third place. Your leader is going to remain Alex Barton and Stone Crusher. Coming out last, representing the black and green wrecking machine out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. This is Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, now he goes. Those for a donut could just mold it over. That's going to be the end of the run for Weston Anderson. One unfortunate ending. Not the thing, not not how Weston wanted it to go. Some scoops out here. Flipping over Grave Digger. They got him flipped over. Now they've got to sell him back. And they got, they got him and... And tying him back right here into the pit area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Your score for Weston Anderson and Gravedigger is only going to be a 12 good enough for this 8th place, which means your donut competition winner is going to be none other than Alex Barden and Stone Crusher. Man, great job, Andrew. Alex Barden and Stone Crusher for this win. No, this is, I believe, his second career win here in Monster Jam, second donut competition win. So just great job out here for Alex Barton in Stone Thrusher for getting this win and collecting the next eight points towards tonight's overall event championship. Monster Jam fans, we've reached the pinnacle of tonight's Monster Jam events in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Each driver is going to need two minutes to tear up the track due to their biggest and best moves. Some of the stuff you may see these drivers do out on this track are donuts, technical maneuvers, huge air, crazy sayings, a backflip, or maybe even something wild, crazy, and new we've never even seen before. So the judges are looking for when judging their these freestyle runs are huge air, momentum, um, crazy saves, the use of all obstacles, and the completion of the time. If a driver does not complete the first 30 seconds of the run, then they'll be unable to qualify for a score. So, Little Rock, give up for me one last time if you're ready for the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. Coming out first, representing the Crazy Bull, this is Fernando Martinez and Elks Orloco. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Blowing that smoke out of the nostrils as he gets ready for his freestyle run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two minutes is starting right now as he goes for that reverse popper. Competition. Great run from Fernando. Coming out next out of Conference, North Carolina, this is JD Sullivan and Monster Mud Dalmatian. <laughs> Two minute run starts for Jamie now. <laughs> Currently right now 
up to turn the top in the overall event championship standings. There's currently a tie right now between Weston, Fernando, and Jamie for this for this overall event championship win. So Jamie can just finish higher in freestyle than Weston and Fernando. She's got a chance to win this overall event championship. Off the run. 
Mmm, 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 Martinez and El Toro Loco. Coming out next on a Green Bay list box, and this is Brandon Telechka and Just Get Her Done Too. Mm -hmm. Two minute timer starts now. Nice, they're standing it on the nose. Mm -hmm. Your score for 
Brandon Selechka and Just Get Her Done 2 is going to be a 32. Good enough for fourth place. Your leader is still going to belong to Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco. And Fernando Martinez gets his first ever career arena freestyle win. And Orc in this last driver stop in. Coming out last, representing the black and green wrecking machine out of Go Devil Hills, North Carolina. This is Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. And the two minutes starts right now out here for Weston Anderson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Weston's freestyle right here will determine who will win this overall event championship win, whether it will be him or Fernando. If Weston has a better freestyle run and scores higher than Fernando and wins, he will officially win the overall event championship. But if Fernando wins, he will get that overall event championship. And Weston is already getting off crazy with this huge air and just great momentum. Mm Lining up here, 38 seconds left. Morgan and Morgan backflips on, and he's got it out here into a little moonwalk. Nicer job. <laughs> Crazy same time for Weston Anderson. Wow, donut safe flag landing right in my lap. Wow. And that's going to be the end of the run out here for Weston Anderson in Gravedigger. Wow, what a run. Your score for Weston Anderson and Grave Digger is going to be a 38, which means your BKT Tires freestyle winner is going to be none other than Weston Anderson in Grave Digger. Nice job, Eric, for Weston Anderson for picking up yeah, another freestyle win. He just had another one of those burner type runs with this huge air, gray momentum, crazy saves, a back foot. <laughs> A backflip, just great job out here for Weston Anderson and Graveyard for picking up the final eight points towards tonight's overall event championship. Monster Jam fans, that's going to be a wrap out here for tonight's event in Little Rock, Arkansas, where your overall event championship winner has been determined. I'm going to get a total of eight points in the JCD Racing Competition, eight points in the Great Clip Skills Challenge, one point in Donuts, and eight points in the BKT Tires Freestyle Competition. For a total of 25 points, your overall event championship winner is going to be none other than Weston Anderson and Greg Digger. Weston's just going to take home another overall event championship win. And, you know, he had to make sure he did, did good out for Arkansas fans. You know, the Andersons have been competing out here for the past couple of years. I know Weston was here two years ago back in 2022 and did decent so they wanted some redemption and then Kristen did decent driving Grave Digger here last year. But Wes Anderson wanted to make sure he fans go home with some good Grave Digger action and he did that out here here tonight. So just great job for Wes Anderson for bringing home this overall event championship win. Here's a look at the results from tonight's event and the results for JCB Racing and the overall event championship. And here are the results for the Great Clip Skills Challenge Donut Competition and the Get Stars Freestyle Competition. Currently in the season standings, West Anderson Grave Digger will still hold the lead with 255 points. Second place will be 
Need Brandon Mahan in his Scooby Doo with 175 points. Third place will be Frank Grimmel and Zombie with 163 points. Fourth place will be Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mud Dalmatia with 162 points. Fifth place is Fernando Martinez and El Toro Loco with 156 points. Sixth place is Brandon Telechka and Just Get Her Done 2 with 144 points. Um, seventh place is um, Alex Barden and Stone Crusher with 124 points. And then in eighth place at the bottom will be Michaela Telechka and Megalodon only with 118 points. Currently at the point standing, Weston Anderson is just still dominating. Like always with his 80 point gap. Like that is just crazy out here. And there are still quite a few stops left on this tour, but Weston is currently right now just running away with this thing. With Brandon Mahan definitely having to do some work, as well as Jamie, um, Frank, Brandon, and Fernando all have work to do. They want to try to catch up to Weston Anderson, as they all are going to try to catch up to him. And then try to have close events like Weston, like Weston almost lost this overall event championship win today. He barely won the overall by one point over Fernando, and then three points over Jamie. So those points were probably definitely necessary and crucial for Jamie and Fernando to keep themselves in the game and close behind Weston Anderson so they can have a shot at trying to win the series. Currently right now, Brandon Mahan could easily fall right now in her place. She can easily fall down to a lower position as Jamie's only 13 points behind and Frank Criminals is only 12 points behind. And so those three could easily tussle it out and by the end of the, can tussle it out in the next event, they all be in different positions in, on the points. And Jamie, he, after, after Jamie Sullivan's injury, knocking her out for two events, is finally almost caught up and has almost got that third place spot. She is so close to Frank Kremel that she's only one point behind. If she can do good at the next event, she's got a shot at getting, at getting that, at getting that uh, third place spot if she can try to do well enough in the next event. And she's almost got it. And if she can even do well enough, she can easily try to get back her second place spot. And then also close behind somebody, Jamie and Frank need to look to watch after for is Fernando Martinez, as he can easily get in the game and try to take over a spot into the top four. And then Fernando's got to watch out from falling into sixth place by Brandon Telechka. And then it is a... A brawl in the bottom between Michaela and Alex, as those two could easily swap places by the end of the next event, with them only being six points separated in the points. And that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. This tour's next stop will not be until next Tuesday, March 19th, in Toledo, Ohio. So that's going to wrap out here for this stop out here on this tour. You now this tour is going to get a little over a week off. They've got like eight days off to go ahead and pack up these trucks and get them to the next show oh, and work on them and have them ready for the next show out here. As you know, also as there's been another schedule change as um, uh, Arlington has been pushed to tomorrow and Orlando has been pushed to Wednesday. Um, so, you know, um, Arlington, guys, I was originally going to try to do it tomorrow. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of been pushed back to tomorrow. And I was going to try to do it tonight, but I just woke up too late in the morning. And I'm still trying to recover from this cold I have as well. I still do have tiny minor symptoms of my cold. Still left them. Still have some, some congestion, you know, where I have like what I like to call the stutter cough. Or sometimes I will cough and stutter after a couple of words when talking, talking, and also still have a tiny bit of a runny and stuffy nose. So I don't know what it's going on with this cold, guys, I have. I've been sick and I've had this cold, cold and haven't felt normal ever since, and like, no, I've had this happening since March 1st. The last time I felt normal at 100% health was on February 29th. So, you know, we're trying our best to recover, guys, you know, we're trying to get rest, you know, we're trying to cough and blow. Uh, uh, blow all this phlegm and snot out of my nose and get it all out of my lungs. You know, we're trying our best to recover. 
we're praying, we're, we're trying to eat a bit healthier, we're doing some fasting, and you know, trying to get better. So you know, we're gonna be back at 110%. So we can film videos for you guys. So yeah, so I'm gonna have a schedule change. And plus, and things are really busy in our lives right now, especially for my camera people, people who help me out. They're just really busy. So that's why we're gonna have to push Orlando oh, back to Wednesday and not do it tonight. There's just, I mean, there's just not enough time. So Wednesday will be more available. And I guys, I promise with these Arlington, Orlando shows, I promise there's gonna be no more schedule switching. This is confirmed. The confirmed and locked in schedule. We're gonna follow through with this no matter what. So everybody be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you guys can be notified when the next stop on Arena Championship Series Central will come out. Alrighty, bye bye everybody. Have a God blessed day. We'll see you all soon for some more Monster Jam action. Peace out.